Alejandro Villamuel Abrego, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of ABA Wednesday. In today's episode, I will answer a question that's probably part of the top five most commonly asked questions that I've received over the past few years. And the question, or should I say the questions, are about the law of attraction. What is the law of attraction? How does it work? How can I use it in my life in order to attract what I want and desire? Uh, so in today's video, I will answer to all of those questions and I hope that by the end of this video You will have a more clear idea of what the law of attraction really is First of all, let me say that the law of attraction is a very very misunderstood concept if we can call it like that A lot of people misunderstand the law of attraction See a lot of people think that the law of attraction is that you sit in front of your television You say I want a new car. I want a new car. I want a new car and that all of a sudden you look outside your window and there it is your brand new car. Well, of course it doesn't work like that. We all wish it would, but it does not work like that. The theory of the law of attraction, what it teaches is that positive attracts positive and negative attracts negative. So if let's say, and I'm sure you had days like that, you wake up in the morning, the first thing that you say when you open your eyes is, oh no, it's Monday, or oh no, I don't wanna go to work. Then what's gonna happen is that you get out of bed, then you hit your toe on a piece of furniture. Then you go grab a coffee and you spill it on your new shirt. Then you're in traffic, then you're late to work. And it seems like everything is just happening, everything that's happening is negative, negative, negative after negative. Well, it's not a coincidence. It's not that you're having a bad day or one of those days. It's simply that the more that you're gonna focus on that negative, the more it's gonna happen. And all you have to do is just change your mindset and change it to positive. Have you ever met people who are always happy? which seems that always there's always good things that happen to them it's like they're living in this pink world full of happiness and everyone's happy and it's just a wonderful world well it's not because these people are born with more luck than other people absolutely not it's just that people like that have learned to always stay positive and because of that there's positive that keeps on coming in keeps on coming in keeps on coming in it's just attraction you know positive attracts positive negative attracts negative then there's also you know people who are always always depressed they're always sad they're always talking about their problems always complaining it seems like there's always this like uh, rain that's falling on them you know they always have so much bad luck wherever they go and whatever they do well once again it's not a coincidence not that all those people weren't born with luck Absolutely not. It's just that those people focus a lot on the negative that's happening. And I know that sometimes it's hard to ignore when there's negative things that, ha that are happening, but you have two choices here. It's either you ignore it and you try to think about the positive that's going on in your life because there always is positive, whether you want to admit it or not, or you keep on focusing on the negative and just wait for other negative things to come into your life. It's very, very simple. So basically the law of attraction, what it is, is positive, positive attracts positive, negative attracts negative. A lot of people also think that the law of attraction is just some kind of philosophy and that's just a theory and that it can't be proven scientifically. Well, I believe that it can. Everything around you is energy. Everything around you is frequencies. Just the fact that you're watching this video already proves us that you are listening, let's say, to the frequencies that are coming out of my mouth. So everything is really frequencies. There have been, there has been studies where they have proven that words like love, happiness, joy have a higher frequency than words like uh, hate, uh, sadness, envy, and things like that, and words like that, should I say. So basically they recorded those words and they saw that words positive words have a high frequency and negative words have a low frequency. So if in your life right now, all that you feel is happiness, joy, gratefulness, and you're always, you always have these positive words coming out of your mouth, what's going to happen is that you're going to go through life in a high frequency mode. And if you go through life in a high frequency mode, the experiences that are coming into your life are also going to be high frequency. Now, if you do the opposite and you go through life feeling anxious, feeling hate, feeling sad, what's gonna happen is that you are gonna go through life in a low frequency mode. And if you go through life in a low frequency mode, everything bad is gonna start happening to you. I don't know if you ever noticed in your life. Uh, it seems like whenever bad times are happening, bad times are really happening. You know, it seems like bad thing after bad thing keeps on coming into your life. And it's like these phases, phases that come, you know, sometimes everything is good, sometimes everything is bad. It's not a coincidence. It's not just a little season of your life that it was supposed to be like that, that it was destined. 
Absolutely not. It's just that you were going through life or in a high frequency or in a low frequency. It's very, very simple. So everything is energy, everything is frequency. And it all depends, your life basically, the way that you live your life is gonna depend on the frequency that you are on. Now, another way to prove, if we can say it like that, the law of attraction scientifically, is that we all have, every single human being on this planet Earth, you and I and everyone else, we have what is called the reticular activating system in our brain. What the reticular activating system is, is that it helps you notice things that you didn't notice before. Let me give you an example. You buy a brand new car. You buy, you buy a brand new car, you're driving it around town, and all of a sudden, you start noticing that everyone has your car. It seems like everyone and their brothers and sisters has your brand new car. So you're going to work, you're going to the grocery, do the groceries, you're going to the mall, and everywhere you go, you just see your car. It seems like everyone is buying it. And you're gonna think to yourself, oh wow, that's like probably the, the popular car of the season. Well, it's not like that. It's not that all of a sudden everyone decided to buy the same car as you. It's just that because of your reticular activating system, you notice it more. If let's say you're a woman and you get pregnant and then you have, you know, your big belly, what's gonna happen is that everywhere you're gonna go, you're gonna see pregnant women. It's not that all of a sudden everyone decided to get pregnant at the same time. It's just that your reticular activating system is seeing it now, is noticing it, because that is what you are focusing on. Now, what does the law of attraction and the reticular activating system have to do with one another? It's that if, let's say, you really want something in life, whether it's something materialistic, like a house, car, money, or you want someone, like a partner, or you want a career or something, it's not magical. You know, the law of attraction is not gonna attract it magically in your life. You are going to attract it because that thing that you're foc focusing on so much, your reticular activating system is gonna make you see opportunities that were there before you were focusing on it, but now you see them because of your reticular activated system. So that's another way to prove it more, um, in, you know, instead of proving it in a magical way, like we, a lot of people think that the law of attraction is, it's more of a scientific way, if we can say it like that. So the reticular activating system also is going to help you to attract whatever it is that you want in your life. And last but not least, how to use the law of attraction. It's a lot more simple than you might think. See, a lot of people think that the law of attraction, it's saying, oh, I want this or I want that, or I want to attract this in my life, I want to attract that in my life, and just hoping for it. It doesn't work like that. What you have to do is that you have to replace, I'm sorry, the frequency that you are in, that you're living your life on, for the frequency to where you want to get. Basically, think about how would it feel to live the life that you want to live, to become the person that you want to become, and to have all the things that you want to have. How are you going to feel once you get there? What you have to do is that you have to start feeling those feelings now instead of waiting when, until you get there. Because if you don't do that, you're never going to get there. Basically, you replace the frequency and the feelings that you're feeling right now for the frequency and the feelings that you will feel once you get there. Now, I know this is the hard part because... See, a lot of people are going to sit around and complain always about their situation and their current situation, basically saying, well, I can't, you know, it's too hard, I'm so depressed, I'm so sad, life is not going well. Well, you have two choices here, okay? You can either just stay around, cry, and complain, and always talk about your problems, knowing that it's not going to change if you do that, or you can really force yourself and get all of the strength that you didn't even know that you had to force yourself to basically start living the life that you want, because that is the only solution replacing the frequency that you're living in for the frequency that you want. Try to think about someone who's already living that life. How does that person feel? How does that per person uh, say every day when they wake up? You know what I mean? So always, always replace the frequency that you are on by the frequency that you want to live in, basically. Replace it now. And when you do that, you are automatically gonna change the energy around you, which is gonna change the events and the things that are gonna start coming into your life. Your our reticular activating system is gonna start noticing opportunities and things that were there before, but you didn't notice because you weren't focusing on it. So that, that is the key. That is how you use the law of attraction. You replace the frequency by the frequency that you want to have, basically, in your life. Simple, right? Before we finish with today's video, I just have a little announcement to make. 
This season, Winter 2013, will be the last season of the seven week programs that I have online. Uh, it's the last season because my time is a lot more limited than it was before. Uh, so the programs, of course, are live and direct. So uh, it's very hard for me. It's very hard for me to be able to do that every single week. You know, it's a lot of hours, it's a lot of preparation. So unfortunately, I had to pull the plug, but I promise you that I will come back with more programs for online, just different concepts. So if you want to be part of the last season of the seven week program that start on February the 7th, uh, you want to be part of the love and relationship class, start your own business class or uh, financial freedom class or personal de development, I'm sorry, class. Well, I welcome you to register. You can go on the link below in the description and we will see each other on February 7th. The places are limited, so make sure you hurry up. So that's it for today. I wish you all a very good Wednesday. I will see you all next Wednesday for another episode of ABA Wednesday. My name is Alexandra Villalabrego and see you in a week. Bye-bye.